Hi there, my name is Sumit Goyal and I am a subject matter expert in ClickView. I am creating this video because I want to share my ClickView knowledge with all of you. In this tutorial, we will be going to talk about the partial reload. Basically, what is a partial reload? Partial reload is a method through which we can replace or add a table in our existing data model without reloading all the tables. Partial reload can be used to save time and patience. Partial reload is executed only with the current script. It works with drop tables and drop fields. Or I can say that the partial reload is a feature where it will not look up on the data which have already loaded but it will add the new data to the existing data set or will replace the existing data set with a new data set. Generally, this kind of feature will use in dashboards or reports where we got a requirement to refresh the data with the new data by replacing the existing data. Now, let's take an example of a partial reload or let's see how to perform a partial reload in a click view. So for this, first of all, let me open my click view. So I like I have already loaded my click view over here now in this click view first of all I have to load the data set into my click view so I'll click on edit a script and add a new tab as a main data and here I am going to load a QVD file like I have got two QVD files sales staff and sales staff new this is my old file this file contains few records maybe from around from number 1 to 60 and in sales staff new it contains the records from 50 to like some hundred so there are 10 duplicate records in both of the tables so I'm going to load both the data set one by one so first of all let me load sales staff dot QVD so I select sales staff dot QVD click on open finish and simply save and reload the data and I want to display one list box over here so I'll show a sales staff code and apply and OK so I got a sales staff code list box over here this have got a sales staff code from number 1 to 60 now let's add a new table box over here that table box will contain the sales staff code the first name the last name and the position click on apply and ok like this so this has loaded this also contain the and we can make the selections over here like this ok now next is what I'm going to do is I'm going to load my second file which contain the remaining records or the new records so again I'll go to the edit script from so either I can press control E or I can use a shortcut or I can click over here also or I can click on file or edit a script any option you can choose so let me press control E so this is my edit script open script editor open and here I'm going to load my second QVD file so I click on table file and sales staff new dot QVD click on open and finish now what I'm going to do is basically if in this scenario if I'll simply save and reload this file so what will happen the record of this particular data set and the records of this particular data set they will concatenate it and the data the both data sets will be reloaded into the memory but our scenario is to deal with the partial reload so partial reload is now the once the data this data set has already loaded into the memory so I don't want to reload this particular data set into the memory again I only wanted to reload only this much part of data so how to do that we can simply add a keyword over here add so now what will happen if I click on save over here now you have to remember you have to click on save you do not need to click on reload like every time we click on reload 
this time you do not need to click on reload because we'll be going to do partial reload so i click on save and okay so you can see here the data has not yet added okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click use partial reload now so file and partial reload or you can use a shortcut key also control plus shift plus r i select partial reload so in this scenario what happened the previous data or the first data set will not reload only this particular data set will reload into the memory because it's a new data set so it's saving the time and the processing will be faster because it is not reloading the whole data set again and again so it's saving the processor timing okay and you can see the records over here now let me do one thing let me show frequency the frequency of the records so i click on okay and you can see here we have record number 1 1 and you see here we have record number 50 two times 51 two times 52 sorry 52 two times 53 two times up to 60 it means it indicates that both the files contain the records from number 50 to number 60 that's why it occurs two times so basically the data is refreshing now if i'll again do the reload let me again click on partial reload so what happened over here is you can see here it's three times so it indicates the whole data set is not reloading only the data set which we added as a partially or the second data set is reloading again and again or the data set which has using the add keyword so only this part of code or this part of script is reloading again now in this scenario we have the duplicate records basically there are records only two times but because the data set is refreshing again and again so it is adding the counting over here now i want to identify the duplicate records and i want to eliminate the duplicate records over here i don't want to show the duplicate record i want to show whether the both the data set contains the common record or the common sales staff code they will display only the record only or the number only one time the counting only one time so how to do this let me go to edit script and click on here and here i am writing a where clause where not exist and sales staff code click on save okay file and partial reload now if you see Sorry, reload not partial reload reload now if you see over here we have the records over here 51 51 one time 52 one time so it is eliminating the duplicate record now if i let me go to the script editor and we can use this exist function exist function which is an interconnected function the behavior of the script will be same except one change that is now it will eliminate the duplicates by using the exist function okay now if I'll take this one step forward only so I only want okay we can take this one step forward that is we can use only over here now if I'll use only over here let's see what happened over here is only click on save basically what it will do it will only show the it will not show the records from the uh, see this it will not show the records from the or it will show only records which are common and in the first data set now in this first data set we have the records from sales staff code number 1 to 60 and in second data set we have the sales staff code from number 50 to 50 to 98 or something okay 
so basically what is happening over here this is displaying the common records from 52 so these records basically these are the common records so it is displaying only the common record it is not executing the uh, partial script now okay now there is one more scenario over here is now in place of if i use now if i want to display only the partial reload data set or if i only want to show the new data set or the data from the this particular sales staff new data set i don't want to show the data set from or data from the sales staff so i what i can do is in place of add i can use here replace now if i click on replace click on save and okay and i click on partial reload so you can see the data has been eliminated from the first script it will display the data only of the second script over here so this is all about the partial reload that's all in my video i will be coming up with some new topic in my new videos till then please subscribing do subscribe my videos i will be thankful to you and see you soon in my new videos till then bye bye have a nice day ahead